who's here for the very first time? Well, welcome. Thank you. Wow, that's we got a big group. So newcomers, third Tuesday, odd month. It's been running more than ten years now. Uh, as you saw earlier, we we have uh, May's slides up for the last ten minutes. But as you saw earlier, you can see many of these sessions online. So you just go to UT Dallas Project Management Speaker Forum and you'll be able to see previous sessions for probably about the last five years. Um, I'd like to thank our project management group over on the other side of the building. They paid for the pizza and make this room available. So and Kathy and Way were out there at the front to get us all signed in and set up. Um, this evening, we are going to talk about Agile. And it's not the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many Agile presentations we've had over the years, but they've all been, well, one of our speakers sitting right there. Uh, we've had many Agile presentations over the year, and they're always, in my opinion, super interesting. Uh, this evening's speaker is uh, recommended by the PMI Dallas chapter, Susan Kennedy. So I'm really looking forward to listening to what May has to say. Um, and just on a little bit of personal note, she is always training for a marathon. Congratulations. I think my marathon record is 0, .0. <laughs> So I don't have that on my car, but I, one day we'll get one. And uh, she's, she's big into yoga. So will you please welcome May. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I thought you guys had peace out. Just double check. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. OK. We are talking about Agile today, and thank you so much to be here. We have three different parts for today's agenda. I try to make it as easy as we can, because when we talk about Agile, we always talk about small buy. It's good enough, bare bone. So today, the bare bone agenda is we are talking about a little bit about Xen. We are talking about Agile 101. It will be basic. If we go to the Agile workshop, there will be more information. However, I'm not leading the workshop today. We only have an hour. Workshop only, only take two days or more time for you to practice and have interaction. Finally, I'm talking about Agile reality. The reality is what kind of tool you can have, what kind of education you say, hey, may I'm interested in Agile. Maybe I'm not in the software development. What can I do to get more knowledge and information, and what kind of certificate we will have and some feedback to send from previous Agilists gave it to me, I would like to share with all of you. Today, I have the honor, thank you UT Dallas, thank you Project Management Institute Dallas Chapter, I have the honor to be here. My, I, have very, I have a very diverse background. I have a social work degree, a law degree from Taiwan. I came to United States 2008, got my MBA degree in Texas and Commerce. I work for retail healthcare industry. I even work for the education section in Taiwan. It's very diverse. Currently, I work for an IT company called Technology Spa. Don't get me wrong. My CEO has sense of humor. <laughs> we just try to provide peace of mind to all the clients. When they come to us, we were taking care of all the IT projects. We were taking care of their project management side. So we kind of IT combined with consulting company for them. I got my PMP, that's the reason my credential here to be the presenter for you. I know there are about almost 100 project PNI ACP credential holder in our chapter. That's why I want to promote my chapter. If you need more information, actually chapter have a lot of good people. First, now you know who I am, I need to know who you are because it depends on how deep for the presentation and how, how wide for the presentation. So are you a student currently? Are you a student? If you are a student, please raise your hand. Whew. What's wrong with those students? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't need to ask a second question. Are you a PMP potential holder? If you are, let me know. OK, good. Thank you so much. Do you currently have a PNI ACP? OK, we have one, two, three experts here. So if I make any mistake, please let me know and feel free to give me feedback. In, in Agile, one thing is very important why we do Agile. Not because Agile is fancy, sexy. It's Agile give you very small buy so you can fail fast. 
when you fail fast, you know you go to the wrong route. Then where you are going? Go to the right route, right? That's why I don't mind an agile is there to share. I dare you to share those information because I'm going to learn from you. We're going to talk more about what is agile. Today is not about, oh, scrum ball, Kanban, let's do storyboard. Those are just will be very quick and fast. We will pass those really fast. But the point is, what do you know about agile? So how many scrum masters who certify? Okay, we had a couple of scrum masters. How many scrum masters by profession not certify? Okay, because in scrum, in later on, for people who don't know what scrum master is in the certification, I do have a chart for you to understand the process, the question, and what organization provide those certification in the agile reality section. So now I know I'm dealing with a bunch of experts. <laughs> no pressure. Let's talk about PNI ACP. This is a basic requirement for you to finish your application before you can take ACP. It's 2,000 general project experience plus 1,500. It's not just 1,500, it's 2,000 plus the 1,500 agile related work, okay? You have to take 21 credit, 21 uh, count hour of the course to even eligible for the, for the exam. Many people say, where can I get those courses? As a, uh, as a, my generation, we go online. I don't know, some people may want to go to different courses, virtual course, face-to-face -face course, community college, anything related. I talked to PNI and asked them this question. Actually, as long as it's agile related, that count. As long as you have the specific hour, and they wanting to give you specific application, there's nothing really say you cannot apply that to the 21 hour, so it's very easy. How to pass an exam? I'm really proud of myself because it's a 120 question with three hours. If you are PNI members, it's only costing you about $435. The reason I'm proud of this exam because the quality of the exam. I know no against to any Scrum master, but in Agile, in PNI ACP, Scrum is a framework, a practice, how to do Agile. But Agile doesn't equal Scrum. In PNI ACP, they actually have many, many different sessions. It's about Lean Six Sigma. They have different methodology combined together. So they have more variety of the flavor into the knowledge. I would say into the project management knowledge. If you learn, if you pass a PNI ACP, my understanding is you know a little bit wider knowledge background for this topic. If you say you are the Scrum master, I know you definitely the expert for the Scrum. However, your material probably didn't cover some part of the knowledge. That is my assumption. I did, did think about taking the Scrum master. It depends on my time. Okay, everybody knows 30 PDU for maintain it. This is a really good exam based on my, my experience. When we take a PMP and people say, ah, nobody use it. Right? But for the Agile, PNI ACP, if you never play poker, you never do the story point, you will feel really struggle about those terminology. I'm going to have a slide about terminology. The slide, the, the five print, it's, it's really small print. Please don't read through it. And just give you an idea what people talk about backlog, what people talk about spring, what people talk about scrum, what people talk about spike. If you never really just live there, just stay in there with the agile team for one day, you read those books, it's going to be hard for you. It's going to be weird because Scrum means something like football, but not really. That's a different framework. You. I know you guys come here not because I, I have a wonderful resume online. You come here maybe because you want to know about agile, Oh, you want to take PNI ACP. Oh, today is a free day for you. You want to be with a lot of information. Just want to know what the level, how intense I should be tonight. So why are you here? If you come here because you want to know about Agile, can you let me know? Okay. Thank you. If you come here for PNI ACP exam, okay, got it. 
If you come here because you have free night, you just want to spend some time with people and networking with project manager, let me know. Good job. Let's see those hands, right? Those are real project manager because we are networking every single second. If you don't network with project manager, what are you going to get? You got no resource. Because those people, if you can grab their mind, they come here to networking, get their business card. In Agile, your resource not doing one thing. Your resource actually do multiple things. They change really frequently. So do you. If you want to do one practice for the team or one knowledge for the team and never improve, you are not Agile. You just say you are Agile, but you're not really believing what Agile behind the scene. Thank you. So now I understand. This slide, I know people don't understand. My friends say I'm crazy. Can you see the star? Think about all the dark area is project managers. But those stars are people who have different credential. Maybe PNI ACP, maybe risk management, maybe PBA. PNI ACP, just some statistics for you. From last year, we have about over almost a million people have P PMP. If over a million people have PMP, how can you say I'm different? Just go back. You are different, but I see dark. Give me some light. That's why today, why, if you are here, you want to learn about Agile, I highly recommend you to take the PNI ACP class. The reason behind it is that tell people you have the basic knowledge and background to pass the exam. You know the basic, all the tools that are accessible for you. Can other people not passing Agile, PNI ACP, and still have the tool? Yes but I need to take your word for it. To be one of a million. Depends on where you want to go in your career. I'm very proud of myself to pass this exam, but I'm going to keep improving myself. Then we will talk about that later as well. Agile is not software development only. It's not. If you are in the marketing field, anybody in marketing field here? Okay. In the marketing field, just say you have an event. Can you just organize everything one time, make sure everybody in the right place? No. Your, release, your press release, your volunteer, and all the things, right? Your budget, your stakeholder, your graphic designer, everything, the agency, SEO, how you're going to do anything. That's an incremental release. But you don't see that way. In a lot of Industry, they are doing Agile, but they don't think that way because Agile was introduced by a group of brilliant uh, software designer. They are a group of a bunch, bunch of really talented people from software design, and they say, hey, this is what we say and what we do, and people start implementing it. Then people doing marketing, people doing different industries, they don't know they can do Agile, okay? And it's not for every project. I went to a lot of Agile group. Some Agile group, they are a little bit snob. I didn't name who, OK? They are a little bit snob because they say Agile is the key. Agile is the answer. Agile is not for every project. If I'm going to build a bridge at 635, can I do Agile? Okay. No, I can't because the material, the timeline, the license, that cannot be Agile. Agile is not for every project. Today, if you're from different industries, think about what can your project do and reflect to Agile. Take the good part you need. People will say, oh, so we are doing Agile, but? No. Not for every project you should use Agile methodology. Not every project you should use waterfall. That's why a lot of people talk about waterfall fail in software development. Therefore, Agile is another tool set for you, another methodology for you. And Agile is not standard meeting. If you ever hire a Scrum Master or Agile project manager, oh, I do Scrum meeting, I'm Agile. That is not correct. Standard meeting is just a tool in the Agile. So if you say, oh, I do standard meeting, and I am doing Agile in my company, Agile is not just standard meeting. That's just part of the process you can borrow. If your company even do standard meeting, try. Maybe that will be good for your company, maybe not, but try it. 
Okay, we have a couple agile experts here. I don't know how shy they are today, but I really wish they can participate a little bit. If you wanting to, oh my God, I see a really familiar face. If you wanting to, please, please share. What does agile mean to you? Anybody, please raise your hand. Just one. There is. People are that shy. Okay, I have a hundred dollars. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Okay, anybody share? If you come to here, you have the basic knowledge. Just by your knowledge, what does agile mean to you? Because what agile? Thank you. Do you mind? We have a microphone. Do you mind your name? If you like to say where you, you are from or your company and answer that question, your name, where you are from and your company, what does Agile mean to you? Hey, give buddy, get in a big hand. Really? You guys didn't raise the hand. Your hand need to do something. I am Suja Kiri and I work for CVS IT, uh, for CVS Pharmacy IT department as a project manager. Currently, I'm managing Waterfall uh, projects that follows waterfall methodology, but I have agile experience from Cisco Systems. Agile means to me in one word, constant change. Thank or you. then another word is PCI, uh, potential shippable increment, incrementally shipping uh, small pieces of whatever it is, the del deliverable. Thank That's you. What I Sorry, would say. how to pronounce your name again? Suja. Suja. Thank you, Suja, everybody. Really? <laughs> Hey, clapping actually good for your hand and your healthy, just so you know. Conti continuous improvement and, and changing. That is agile mean to her. In your companies, there's any project can apply that methodology. Let's ask another volunteer, what does agile mean to you? By book, by experience. Really, you're gonna get a full house of applause. That's really good. I stare at somebody. Thank you. <laughs> Agile just means it's a bunch of techniques. Your name? Even oh, I know Ira, you. Ira Bears. I just, uh, I just got a uh, four o'clock today. Just got an offer okay. from Verizon. Okay, give you a hit. Your name? Where are you from? Or your company? I'm what doing do you that. Do? I said it. Ira, <laughs> if you quiet. <laughs> <laughs> She's my friend. Yes. Uh, uh, I'm Ira Bearish. I'm a, I'm a PM, PMP. Uh, P, uh, PM project manager, and we use been using uh, I'm in infrastructure, and I just accepted a job at four o'clock today <laughs> with Verizon for starting May 29th. Woo. Yay! I'm not quite sure he tried to answer a question of Brad about his new fancy job. Yeah, uh, I think ad, agile is different than Scrum. Agile is a is a bunch of techniques uh, that are used uh, in, in a lot of industries, not just not just IT, and it's it's a that's a that it's just a sum of these activity of a, these act, these uh, different techniques, and okay. Scrum is one of them. Yes. And I I did a presentation on a few probably years ago. I actually ago. listened your presentation before I come here. Okay, oh, thank you. <laughs> I did one on con, uh, Kanban's. Kanban is another technique. Yes. There's lean, uh, lean is another. Agile Lean is another one. Larry's an expert at Lean, uh, and uh, and there's many more techniques. So when you're taking the uh, PMP, you know, the, the ACP. PMP version, ACP version, you have to know all those techniques, okay. not just Agile Scrum. Thank you so much. So Agile for you is a bunch of tech, uh, practice and framework for you. It's a lot of tool for you. That's what I heard, right? Okay. Okay, Agile is a set of values. If you take this exam, when I take the exam, I wonder I'm reading Bible or no. I, when I take the exam, you need to believe the value. The value in Agile, they have four value. We will have a slide, but please don't write it down. You can Google that everywhere. They have four value and 12 principles. Everything people talk about Agile start from that four value and 12 principles. And people add that on. So for example, Lean Six Sigma, they didn't create by those Agile uh, practitioner. That actually is something related to it. So agile is making decision based on the principle and value behind of it, and we're gonna talk about it. And that's a life cycle. You have an incremental improvement, a way to adapt. 
That's what I say, fail fast so you can change your direction really fast. A crow is deliver quick, change quickly, change really often. Okay, so Waterfall has their pros and cons. Waterfall is a well-disciplined project, okay? And they have very defined phases. They have their stakeholder, they have everybody have very specific role. But in Agile, we have different way to see role, different way to see team. And we have customer collaboration. In, in your project, you probably say, yeah, I do have a customer collaboration. But in Agile, they emphasize they, the business side and the technical side need to work together. Work together constantly, not just, oh, when we have the question, we make sure stakeholders got informed, we confirm with them what they need from the BA, the business requirement. They take all the hierarchy out. They only have development team, the whole scrum team. Then they have the product owner for those roles. In Agile, we talk about incremental increment. I just, that's all the small icon I can find. Think about it, I'm gonna make a, a software from, for airplane, the, the software for airplane. I don't plan for a year. I don't re collect requirements from different departments for months. I don't do design for months. Then finally I say, okay, that's where we want to go, but that's been maybe a year, maybe three months, maybe eight months. You finish that, but the technology is no longer applied to what, what we are here now, right? What do you have three years ago? Do you really use Instagram? Do you really use NetShot three years ago? You don't, okay? But now, I believe everybody under the age of 75 use Facebook. Three years ago, no. Those are different time frame, right? People, when do you change your phone? So technology changed really quick. In the past, we say every two years you need to learn a new code, right? New development, new language. But right now, every six months, something new comes out. So Agile actually gives you different spring, different spring and give you different deliverable, different outcome, different functionality. Just like marketing plan, you got different things come out for each spring and during the time boxing event. Hmm? So they are Agile. Value, full value and 12 principle. Individual and interaction, working software, customer collaboration, respond to change. I don't need you read it, write it, no. Because that is something we already believe in. Did you think I'm gonna start a project and I don't care about my customer? No, you do. But because a customer, between you and customer, there are many layers. In Agile, we believe we need to be able to, they are accessible for us. They work together. We meet at the business team. They are there. They are not just the resource or we need to go through once in a while, okay? And when people talk about Agile for wonderful managers, talk about Agile, say, you guys don't need a documentation, and that is not true. That is not true. Later on, I will have a couple of screenshots just from my Jira. My Jira, we have the different report. We have different way to show the progress for the Agile project. 12 principle. Everything, unfortunately for PNI ACP, if you want to take that exam, unfortunately you need to memorize it. The reason is everything, every question they ask you and you don't know, you go back the 12 principle. If you don't memorize it, Unfortunately, yeah, you may believe in Agile, like I may believe in Agile, but I don't remember when it comes to the scenario in the exam, you go by the 12 principle. If you don't, it's high chance you may fail. The 12 principle comes with every tools, every process, every practice we have after that. That's all they have. Think about those people, they are so smart. They just give you 12 principle and full value, then people come out books and books and exam. Agile actually really big industrial money making industry. <laughs> so what three, what result do you want for your project? A lot of people working on project, they build a bridge. A lot of people working on project is I want to make sure I save money on scope, on budget, and make sure on time, right? But in Agile, everything is a time boxing event. So what result? Number one result is a working pro product, working software. How many of you, I don't want you to raise your hand because I don't want to know you did that. How many of you complete the project but that project the product is crap? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> a lot of mobile app, 
a lot of mobile app, a, a lot of company did that. They do because client one, you definitely see those charts. What client one, what we think we can do, and what deliverable outcome. But in Agile, we just refresh again. Fail, fa fail fast. If you fail, this doesn't work. Market doesn't want it. You can start that spring. The stakeholder, product owner, this doesn't bring the value to the table. That's a role. In Agile, there will be three major roles. We will talk about it. So, Agile role. For me, I do like this because I show you what kind of role they have is in Agile, they have product owner, scrum master, they have a development team. The development team in the different, in the reality, we will talk about it, but in the book, just by everything right now I say is about a book. The book they have developing, everybody can take the QA role, they can do coding, they can do UI, they can do US. Just like the marketing team, they can do different things. I don't know graphic design, but because I'm in the list team, in this ground team, I will contribute different piece of for this spring. If we need to do different thing in this spring, even I don't have that knowledge, I will learn that knowledge, I will go to obtain that knowledge, and I will deliver with the team. So Scrum Master, we talk about Scrum Master, there are three questions each role will ask. For the product owner, like project manager, we can say that. Product, project manager can relate to that, but in the PNI ACP, you didn't see the word project manager. They say product owner. So does this add value? Each backlog, each spring printing, does this add value to the end product to my client? For the Scrum Master, how can I help you? People talk about servant leadership. Scrum Master does a lot of companies, maybe they have Scrum Master do the coding and they just pick whatever developer do the Scrum. That's happened. Even some company called HP, my friend worked for there, and I said, you are the Scrum Master? I thought you are the programmer. Uh, that happened. But Scrum Master, what they do is, how can I serve you? They remove the roadblock. They have anything, communication between the team and the stakeholder, but if they need anything, Scrum Master help the development team deliver their job they committed to, to the client. Well, the team, how can we deliver? In the waterfall, we tell people we have the WBS, right? We, how many of you are super technical and super like an expert in project manager? Maybe some of you are, but I don't think we are better than people doing the coding every day. I don't think we are doing that. But when we run on WBS, we are actually do that for them. However, in the agile is how can we deliver, not how can they want us to deliver is how those team can work together to deliver what they commit to during the meeting. Okay, there are a lot of methodology, approaches, practice. This is just something in part of your exam. Some part of thing in your exam, and that's what you need to know, you need to learn, you need to understand, you need to be able to use it during the exam, and those are the roadmap for you when you lead an Agile team. For me, my Agile team, we use a lot of Kanban, we use Jira, we use uh, burn down chart, velocity report. But you need to know that. If you never lead an Agile team, those things seem like a long, long, long story for you. So in Agile, we talk about main thing. This is the main thing, we talk about backlog, stories. We talk about spring go. What do you want to accomplish during this spring? We talk about burn down chart. We try to have an information radiator. We try to let everybody have the transparency to see if I and the team, or I'm the scrum master, I'm the product owner, I don't need to go to a team member and say, give me your report. You have the transparency with the information radiator for the team, for anybody who has a question. The, the business side is not come to them to question about what they do. It's, is communicate with what they have to deliver and how to deliver, that will be by the team. Okay, we have Scrum, Spring Planning, those things. If you know about Agile, great. If you don't, you want to study, that is a definition you need to know. And that is in the PNI ACP. You. Okay. Sorry, there are a lot of things overflow. I don't know your knowledge. Maybe you ever use, I think most of you use Scrum, right? Uh, Scrum, right? 
If you do, let me know. Okay, scroll. How many of you use Kanban? One. Wow. Okay. Can <laughs> In different industries, sometimes we have the gap to understand, like I, I would like to know you more because I don't know what you use. For me, Kanban is every day because you have to make sure everybody know what they are doing. And I do have that but in the back, okay. So what agile partners you currently use? We talk about Scrum, we talk about Kanban. Do you use Storing Point, any of those in your, in your work, at your work? Okay, sorry for extra question. Today, when you leave, we will give you, before you leave, I will give you a minute or two to think about after today, what do you think is valuable for you, you can apply to your work, not because you want to change your project from waterfall to agile. It's because you see something valuable, you can make more effective for your project. Okay, this is a chart, I make it, I know I'm sometimes childish about it. <laughs> We talk about backlog. Think about backlog is a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of items. If you are the waterfall project manager, backlog, it, part of backlog is think about BA, got all the requirement here. That's all they requirement, all they want. They want everything, right? But for the, and they will go to the spring planning meeting. Spring planning meeting basically, they will separate different priority. They will size those backlog, what we can do, what we want to do, what we have to do, nice to do, what they want, but we don't need to do, right? You organize all those things, prioritize all those things, you go to the spring backlog. After spring backlog, you will have when people talk about Scrum. Scrum is a 24 hour section. So when we are working together, today we're gonna do a presentation. From now to next week, now where I have a little tiny spring. The spring is a week. We have five people here. I will say, hey, can you do the graphic? Can you go find the contact? Can you search in the data? Can you do this? When things say we're gonna deliver in a time boxing event, we're gonna delete next Monday. So we have a specific time, then we will have daily scrum. Every day in the morning or in a specific time when the team agree, we all stand say, what do you got? What did you do yesterday? What are you doing today? What robot block you have? So that is the 24 hour scrum. This is spring and 24 hour scrum, every day they deliver some part of their deliverable and work product into the spring. In the end of spring, they will have two meetings. In project management PNI world, PMP world, we call lesson learned. But they separate in two different meetings. It's called spring review. Spring review is about the product. Some people will use that time to do the demo because now we talk about software. But think about if you are talking about marketing, if you are talking about different presentation, if now we are delivered for Monday, then our little demo will be what kind of presentation we have right now, right? So you kind of expect and show the stakeholders, show the business side, this is what we have, is this what you want? When you only have one spring and you can fail fast, you say, no, this is exactly wrong. What do you waste? You waste one spring. But if you go to the waterfall methodology, uh, this is not what we want and we spend three years. Sorry, right? And spring, retrospective, <laughs> okay? This is the team we talk about lesson learned. Everybody talk about how can we improve? Not about your demo, not about your product. So they separate the team in two different ways. One way is, is this, uh, this, this final result, final product, the work we done has value for the business side. But another way is their self-improvement, the team, their improvement, how can they do better? How can we do better? What process we can do? There are a lot of suggestions we all know. For example, one suggestion at a time. For example, you can, you can criticize it, anything, but you cannot criticize anyone. In Agile, talk really big part in the exam actually talk about team building. Not about Scrum Master, servant leadership, but also Agile team is self-organized team. So they have a lot, they need to deal with their own conflict. They need to deal with how can we improve better. In the PN, our waterfall, maybe when we have lesson learned, you have a lot of stuff to do, right? How can we do better? How can, but in this spring review, ah, sorry, spring retrospective, ah, 
I can rest. Pro yeah, sorry, I'm really nervous. Spring. See, that's a tick. Thank you. Thank you for understanding English, my second language. I really appreciate you guys here. And I would love to get everything I know, the knowledge. But if you are the grandma Nachi, that is there. <laughs> OK, this is a bigger one. I, I make a chart for you to understand what agile to do. And you need to, only you today, everything I say, only you today can say, OK, how can I apply that to my work? How can I apply that to tell my husband to do the thing I want him to do? Small bite, little spring, 24 hours ground. Hey, babe, did you do that yesterday? Oh, what are you going to do today? Do you have any roadblock? You need my credit card? OK. <laughs> Agile can be everywhere. Those, those things, but you need to be creative. Because in Agile, the team be creative. Think, how can it deliver? Client talk to the product owner, talk to the team, and we have the product backlog, must do, should have, could, want, the luxury item, right? You go to the spring backlog, it's just a bigger chart for you, and every time when, when you go to the spring, every spring you have some deliverable outcome here. And those outcomes accumulate all the results. But if there are something you haven't finished, because sometimes we say we're going to do it, but there will be some reason or some possibility things cannot be done because of software, because whatever platform is not ready. Then you go back to the product backlog. So it's a cycle. Your cycle is what you can do, what you want to do. Then every time when you finish it, it's go to, the, it's go to something you can use, you can walk, you can start using it. That's why when we go to the first slide, do you remember that slide? It's every time when you deliver, you got some value of it. And after that final delivery, you complete your project. But every time, think about you have the, you have the spring review, spring demo meeting, you make sure that is something good for your client. Not in the end is I finish, but that was three years ago. It's not applied to the current trend anymore. OK. What, do, what project or projects do you have in mind that are beneficial for incremental and in, interactive improvement? For me, I know what project I have to do so. I know it takes time. Everybody think one thing in your mind. In your project, maybe not. How about your life? How about your learning? It's anything you can. I'm going to start in the first chapter, second chapter, and third chapter. I'm going to take the mini exam. I'm going to start fourth chapter, fifth chapter, sixth chapter. I know ask you to share sometimes unfair, but I would like to you spend a 30 seconds, write it down. Just write it down. Do you have a piece of paper and pen? Even just one more or two. What project do you have in mind can be benefit from this? If you say, tell my husband to clean the gar your, uh, garden, I need that rosemary flower and whatever plant there and buy a nice planter, how can you do that? Small by bare bone. Can you write on a project in your phone, in your, in your pen, with your pen? For me, every project that's possible can have small by and get improvement, just like doing this slide. Every day I go back to review it. OK, I can do this part. I can do that part. So that's why when I first start my presentation, I say, I start with three parts. Now it's Agile 101 part with a little bit question to you, a little bit work for you. What project can you be benefit? Whew, time fly fast. Agile reality. We didn't go through the definition. We didn't go through the whole textbook. OK, it's a couple hundred pages. Sorry, if you want to pass the exam, you have to read. I cannot save you. Anybody told you past two hours, you can, you can pass the exam, they are crazy. OK? You have to read. You have to buy those definitions. But I would like to share about the practice I have at my work, the Agile Fall. A lot of people use Agile, and I joke about people want to combat Agile waterfall together. That is a possibility. If, but if you don't use properly, you don't understand properly, you will become an Agile Fall project, so you just fall. Then people are like, Agile doesn't work. That is wrong, OK? If you play golf and you use basketball bat, you think that will work? 
you give me the wrong tool for the wrong project. I want to talk about decision making process with flexibility and continuous improvement. Okay, continuous improvement will be for you and for me. Even I pass my PNI ACP exam, I still have my to do list. In Agile, we talk about one thing very important is the team. You need to improve, you need to continue to give them something to do. They be creative, they be motivated. The motivation part is very important in the Agile team. In your company, you say, eh, that is impossible. My company will not pay for this, my company will not pay for that. But that's why when you, what, what people say about insanity? Doing something over, 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 over again, right? If you keep telling yourself, my company will not do it, then keep complaining about process. You are not agile. You can say you try to implement agile and it's so hard you couldn't do it. But you're not trying to make change. You're not trying to lead a change. You're not trying to in improve others. You're not trying to make others be a better team player and they have better team. For every project, every spring and stuff, that member feel better about himself, his ability, instead he's a subject matter expert then that's the only thing he does. Then he will feel bo boring, right? Don't you? If you do the same thing over and over again, write the same SOW, use the same template, will you feel boring? Like, my job sucks. Even you got paid six digits. That, hey, you guys pay, got paid six digits, I'm not, okay? <laughs> but you will complain about that because you didn't make the change. You didn't make the move. In Agile, when people say there's more effective, that's more motivation, because you put a lot of energy to motivate your team. You motivate your team, not them. We are all lazy. Don't tell me you're not a procrastinator. Don't tell me you are not lazy, okay? We are human. As long as you are human, we definitely have some part of us that, ah, oh, maybe we do it later. Ah, oh, somebody will do it. In Agile, it's how you motivate others. How you say, hey, let's do it. Okay, you don't know this platform. Let's find a way. Let's find a way to get you to understand this process. Let's go find YouTube. If you are a good Scrum master, you not just ask three questions. If you are a Scrum master, you ask three questions. If I'm hiring, I probably don't hire you. But if I talk to a Scrum master or project manager, they tell me about how they motivate their team, how the team get the job done. Then I will see. That team gonna be very effective. That team gonna be very happy with their product. That team feel empowered by the work they have done. That's a reality. You have to continue to improve your team, yourself, learning every single day because you are an interest person and they are too. You probably met them at work. You were like, okay, I met them at work. They do the job, they, they submit their code. That is people stuck in the waterfall because I know how to do it. I know how to do it. That's all you matter. In Agile, it's not you know how to do it. You always find something to challenge you, challenge your team, and help them to remove the roadblock. In the book, in the book, there's one thing you need to know. I don't know why I put that slide. Maybe I mixed the order. In the book, if you take the test, you will see something very similar about the terminology. Because PNI ACP combine Lean, combine XP, combine Scrum, combine everything you say. So they use Spring or they call different names. In the exam, it doesn't, it does happen. Instead of they call Scrum Master, they ask Agile Facilitator. Instead of the Spring, they, they call interaction. They do. So if you take the exam, please make sure come to talk to me or go online to see the difference because I do my hard work to read those and I'm like, that doesn't make sense. This sentence doesn't make sense. Then you go back to understand because it's come from different methodology, different framework. So this is, and the reason I put the spring retrospective there because I want to tell, <laughs> I can pronounce the name, but when I just nervous, I couldn't. <laughs> it's lunch, it's the lesson learned. The reason I put that special there is a lesson learned. In Agile Waterfall, they are not enemy. Today I'm here, I want to say they are not enemy, but you need to use the right tool into the right project. You need to real right practice into the waterfall. For waterfall, you need to respect Agile because Agile people does feel happier because the methodology is not just do it, not just do whatever we know, not just guess, not just estimate, not just eat, each faces. Agile tool. 
if you currently in the agile world, you probably already know Jira, Red Hat, Redneck, oh, Red, just different tool. And <laughs> <laughs> thank you. My team loves me. Sometimes when I make that mistake, they just make fun of me. But I think you know it's a servant leadership. I have made them laugh. So. Agile have many, many tools. If you Google Agile tool, most likely you will come to Kanban, Just In Time, and Burn Down Chart. Those, some tools are free, some tools are expensive. Jira actually you need to pay for it. If you don't work for a company use Jira, you probably won't know about it. Then they have Bitbucket, people can submit all the code, and those are for developers. Even we use those tools, we will have a lot of report from there. However, they are still have executive want to see Waterfall method, waterfall kind of report. They want to use time in self storing point. When you take your exam, you will understand that. Conference actually think about the fancy kind of SharePoint, and they have more interaction in between. You can see, think about SharePoint plus Facebook. Will that be easier for you to understand? So you can interact with people simultaneously. When you update something, you follow somebody, you can see that immediately. So those, Jira is. I would say one of the most popular tool if you're looking for the agile project manager job. This is part of the report. They actually have like a couple of slides for that report, but I don't I don't think you need to see all the report. You just need to know when we talk about the we don't want those documentation and government see, but in, in the agile, in Jira, in a lot of agile project manager, they actually does have their report. For example, velocity. How can you calculate velocity? How can you track the cycle time? How can you have that? What do you think working on? What is spring? What is storing point in each spring you accomplish? What burn down chart? So actually, in most of the agile software, they already provide those reports to you. As also your team, your developer, or your team wanting to do so. Then they type in those information. You got your pretty nice chart there. This is just a Kanban I use, and I think I, I marked up. <laughs> yeah, this is actually another tool I use. It's cheaper. I will explain to you. I, I didn't get any money from them, just let you know. I did pay monthly fee for that. But <laughs> I hope this one, they will contact me and give me the free subscription. This is a Kanban chart you can, you can use for your daily. It's what team working on this. They are DD. What we say DD is their ticket, their issue, OK, in each spring. So you basically track that for your team, for your executive, and everybody know who is working on what, and what item is in QA, what item is UAT, and everybody use that. Other tool I want to talk about is those two I currently use. First, those first two is I use, but I didn't stick with it because we have Jira, right? In the past when I joined this company, and now we use Jira. Then Smartsheet is a sheet I use. A lot of people talk about Microsoft, project, right? If you never use Microsoft Project and you don't have the money to buy it, if you are a student, or your company don't need you to use Microsoft Project, try Smartsheet. It's like about $14 per month. They actually give you Kanban, Kanban board. They actually get you most of the functionality Microsoft Project has. Their resource allocation is actually pretty nice. I, I enjoy that tool. Udemy. Didn't get money from that. I paid my own subscription. Udemy is if you have 21 agile hour, you have to take the class. You can take class for $10. If you haven't got your PMP, you need that 36 hour. You probably can get it for $29. Just don't buy. Trust me, one thing. Don't buy the course until they send you special discount because it always does. I make the huge mistake. I buy a $100 course. That two weeks later, they say, $10 per course. I didn't say anything, I'm a lady. <laughs> right? So my lesson learned, they always discount their class. Ten to thirty dollar is a good time for you to buy the course. And there are a lot of websites you can go online. I see if you join LinkedIn for a lot of project management related to LinkedIn work, they will provide that. And P and I dollars. I love my chapter. I'm personally a P and I dollars chapter member, active member. PNI does actually provide a lot of courses for you, and I know my, my person is going to love me. <laughs> this is my commercial time. 
In PNI DAOs, we have about 3,000 PNP right now, have about 92 people have PNI ACP. And those are people, they are your brand. I know a couple people here, they belong to PNI DAOs. The best way to learn, maybe some people like online learning, the best way for me to learn is talk to somebody. Talk to Larry, say, Larry, how to do this, right? And Larry say, that's my experience. I say, how to do this? Oh, I'm really good at that. In PNA dollars, every event, you will meet some interesting people, like Kalu is there. I said, Kalu, I couldn't figure out how to do that for Microsoft Project. I said, you don't? And she just showed me. That is the best way until you go on like Google it. The best way for me to learn is to learn from somebody else. Can you get the microphone, please? Sorry, your name and where you from, that's fair. I need to at least know who you are and talk to you, right? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Raj Petro. I work for JCPenney as a project manager. Okay. Um, if you're a member of the, uh, of the national PMI.org, yeah. are you also a member of PMIDallas.org? No. Okay. You pay a $20 local fee for the join the PNI Dollars chapter. Okay. When you pay the PNI fee, that's only for PNI.O, but you pay the $20, you get extra, extra service from our board and our members and our volunteers. Okay, thank you. Raj, thank you. And by the way, just let everybody know, not try to attack you. JCPenney looking for project managers. If you guys are looking for a job, JCPenney has jobs. <laughs> now it's time, right? So we have a couple events coming up. I know you come here for PNI ACP. I understand there are tools, there are resources, and there are people there. The best way, like Kalu is my best friend, if she wants to know ACP, I'm going to sit down with her and talk two days, nonstop until she wants to die, and tell her you have to pass. <laughs> if not, you need to sign up classes. Then one way to know people like me, like Kalu, like everybody here, I know also awesome people, this event. We have Toastmaster event coming up. If you don't know anything about Toastmaster, just pay that $20, say whatever, I'm gonna try one time. We have actually one, two, three Toastmaster here, four Toastmaster here today. Give an applause. Thank you, that's a power presenter. When I tell people give an applause, they do. <laughs> so we have actually Toastmaster here. Three years ago, I don't think I can stand here before you. I am really shy. Even right now, I'm still shy, but I grow some thinker skin, okay, <laughs> through Toastmaster. I learn how to project my voice. I learn how to elaborate my voice. As a project manager, if you cannot do presentation, how boring your kickoff meeting gonna be? <laughs> Have you ever heard about a project manager? Uh, you know, uh, um, um, so, and, and, and you, you need to do this, and you're like, shut the door, <laughs> right? Please don't do that to me. Just tell me what you want, A, B, C, one, two, three. Give me very clear how to say it. Organize your speech, organize what you want to say, and I will listen to you. Don't you agree? So try Toastmaster. We have a golf tournament. If you don't want to play golf, go to the networking event. We have a networking expert come to our chapter to give you some networking event, give you some networking tips. We have workshop for project team leadership. In our chapter, we have a lot of PNO in our chapter. If you are one of the PNO team, please come to our chapter to serve other project manager. Pay it forward. If you are young project manager like me, we are on, in our 25 to 35, we're still young. I still have two years to be young. <laughs> Go there, find a mentor. Find a mentor as a PNO and say, hey, I want to be you in five years. Okay, fine, 10 years, but five years, <laughs> right? Give them the timeline. Tell them to mentor you. That is what Walsha told you, and those Walsha is leading by those PNO. If she can be a PNO, I can. As long as she share her knowledge with me, as long as she willing to share, we talk about agile again. A willing to, willing to share with the team. As long as I'm in her team, right? I'm in good hands. We have an Agile 101 workshop, actually. I help Kathy. Kathy is our VP of Education. She is an amazing woman. I will tell you she will do everything to help you to be successful. And she organized this Agile 101 workshop for you. It does cost money. I don't remember how much. But I don't think price, money is an issue if we want to learn. 
personally, if I gonna learn something how to be a PO, yeah, everything has a price. $10,000, probably not, but with reasonable price. This is not $10,000 course. Our volunteers are very kind. Agile group. The reality is, when people ask you what is Agile, thank you we have people sharing today. But every single person who tells you about Agile, they probably will have different answer based on those 12 principles. Go to this group. You will say, May, how did you find this group? How many of you have a smartphone? Just let me know. <laughs> OK, good, good, good. Google, oh, no, go, not Google. Type in MeUp at your app. It's a website, a platform called MeUp. N-E-E-T-U-P. After you type in MIA, then you type in Agile in dollars 50 miles. Those are the different groups will show up. If you never use that, try. Because don't say you are Agile, you don't learn new things, learn new tools, meet new people. Those are just, just by two minute search, five, five groups. They have monthly meeting. They have different people showing you what Agile means to them. Final, not finally, I think I have two more. <laughs> Almost there. There are different certification. I'm very proud of PLI ACP because that made me feel I have wider knowledge. There are the different certification and I give you the idea of their exam fee. Some, there's not exam fee, some they charge you for the, the course, $1,000 for two days. And what is a requirement of pass is about normally like 60%. Oh, you take 35 questions, you got 24 correct, you got the Scrum Master Certificate. That's different people want different things. For me, I personally highly recommend PNI ACP because it's with good reputation, the organization has good reputation, and we are very strong. People, when people talk about PNP, PNI, people know. Future learning for me. Skill Agile is the next project I want to learn. For me, I passed PNI ACP, but my company actually under 100 people, so we never really use Skill Agile. Skill Agile is my next project for me. Maybe there's a suggestion for you, people already passed PNI ACP, they, they format Agile differently, how to, how to manage an Agile project differently. This is their chart. I haven't finished reading it, so I'm not going to go deeper. You can go online to find it. It's a crazy chart. I'm not finished it. I see somebody shake their hand. Somebody says it's useful. Somebody don't. My company is smaller, so I haven't feel the use of that. But I want to know. So when people talk about what, waterfall and agile come back together, that's the suggestion people ask me to do. And my favorite crow, not favorite crow, my crow reflected today is I fall, I rise, I make mistakes, I live, I learn, I've been hurt, I've been alive, I'm human, I'm not perfect, but I'm thankful. That is exactly during the team meeting. You are not asked people to do it right first. You ask them to do them the best, and you work together in a time boxing event. So today, you know how to pass the exam. In Agile ACP exam, if I'm gonna write a book, I'm gonna say, who doing what? If you're gonna take the Agile ACP and you know who is doing what, and with that 12 principle and full value, you can pass easily. You don't believe me? Try. If you read that book and you know when Scrum Master need to do what, because all the question is, when this happened, who is doing this? Most of the question will relate to that. Who is doing what? And you don't need to be perfect. You just know who need to doing what, and you believe in helping others, serving leadership, and changing. Last but not least, right now I ask any question because we are at the end of the day. If you don't have the answer, if you, we don't have time to ask questions, come to me. I give you my email because I'm not perfect. I just want to say one more time, I'm not perfect but I will use my knowledge and find an answer for you. If you don't have questions, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm super scared. This is what I want to share. Stop being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to 
sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place. And I don't know how far it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. How hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go on and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not point fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Okay, in this clip, they actually reflect what I just say. And us, if you want to really do agile, don't let anybody point a finger what you cannot do and listen to say that won't work. And when people talk about wonderful and agile, there's actually a big, big like World War Three in project management world. But do not tell people tells you what to do, as long as you are follow that 12 principle and you want the best for your team and you're doing right to imp in growing others, okay? Don't let other people let you down when, especially when the reality people say buying of the executive, no matter what kind of project, waterfall, agile, you need a buy-in. When executive wants Six Sigma, want the process, want the document pro government seat, and they're gonna beat you down. They're gonna beat you down to the end you say agile doesn't work. They're gonna beat you down to say waterfall doesn't work in any how. So it's not about how hard they're gonna hit you, it's how you're gonna use your knowledge as a project manager, as an expert, to take that hit and to grow. Grow yourself, grow your team. And no matter how, what happened, love your team. So it's actually relate to everything I want to say today. I know that sounds weird, but when I feel people challenge about agile methodology or what we are doing as a project manager, I look at that clip. And I hope tonight <laughs> you have something to share with your friend, your colleague, and love them. Tell them, hey, I learned about agile. What do you learn? Mm, a clip. <laughs> what Roki say. So, just come to me in the end. Sorry, we don't have a time for the question, or we do? We do, we do. Now I'm worried. <laughs> okay, we have time for questions. Feel free, shoot it, okay? Any, <laughs> any questions? <laughs> oh, Kurt, are you first? Okay. Yes. Woo. You do know I have a lot of good friends here. They're going to punch you again. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be careful. Okay. I really enjoyed your talk. Um, as you mentioned, there's a big demand for agile project managers, but you didn't mention project manager as one of the roles in agile scrum. So how are the traditional project manager roles divided up between those? Actually, in my reality, is we taking the product owner role and scrum master. That's why when we talk about people finish their agile ACP, right? How, as a project manager, you can bring what knowledge you have into this role, I would say go to, if more, lean to the product manager and scrum master. I take in a strong scrum master role with my team in the past, then that's how I put my value in there. And as a project manager, you can bring that knowledge in there, and in the book, you don't have a project manager role. And a lot of people use product owner as a project manager role, then I would like to find that answer how to how other people do it, but that is my answer for my reality. Anybody have other experience? For me, it will lean toward to the product owner. So they do the prioritize the backlog with the scrum master. Some people lean toward to the scrum master and work with the design team as a product owner. Some people have design team as a product owner. So my reality is in between those two roles. You not take the role out. Yes. I have to add to your answer. Um, my company, product owner is more like a product manager. Mm -hmm. 
but Scrum Master is more like a project manager, but we call it Uber Scrum Master, <laughs> called Scrum of Scrum Master, because they are doing actually the top level of project managing, looking into the into each Scrum's Scrum team and managing the budget and the scope and and the time frame. Okay. So it's it's Scrum of Scrum, Uber Scrum. <laughs> you can call it different names, but they are the project managers in Agile world. Thank you, and we have one more. And so, question. Hi, we're here again. Uh, the, the product project managers can be used on the outside of the, of a project in big companies to manage, like the infrastructure teams, the uh, disaster recovery teams, just just to handle all of the outside peripherals that are going on in a project that are way far away from the scrum teams, and mm -hmm. and then and then use the scrum to scrum meeting to bring that in to f figure out where that where those pieces fit. Yeah, if you had a big enough team, you had scrum to scrum, but some project manager even they act as an agile coach. After they do all the agile training, they possibly be agile coach in the agile, with the agile methodology. Please stay your name. Where are you from? <laughs> Hi, my name is Ken Penrod. I'm actually from Fort Worth right now, okay. and um, I am originally from Richardson, just recently moved to Fort Worth. Okay. Uh, when somebody asks me what the difference between a PMP and the certified scrum master, I normally tell them that a project manager stands at the front of the meeting and is reported to, and the scrum master stands at the back of the meeting and listens to. That is a good one. Thank you. See, you got a really good answer out of the audience. Whew. I play better with good players. <laughs> your name and where you from, your job or whatever you want to share, then your question. Yeah, I'm Ray. I Ray? Uh, work for US Bank and I'm a IT project manager there. I was wondering, I have my PMP and if I was to go for the uh, Agile certification, do the PDUs no. work for both? Or, nope. or I'll need 60 for my PMP to keep that up <laughs> and another 30 for my agile. No. Okay, I actually asked PNI this question, no. So when we got PDU, we actually need to select what kind of category we're going to for PNI, ACP, or we go to the PMP and they don't overlap together. Then, no, they, they, they do have two different, because I overflow my PMP, but the rest of PDU, I didn't go to PNI, ACP. Please. Your name and <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kevin Brown, and uh, I have a PM, my ACP and uh, PMP, mm -hmm. and it depends on the PDUs. Some of them will apply to both. Some will apply to one. Some will apply to and the you other. You need to choose. That's what they tell me. Uh, if it's in the right category, it can apply to both. Yeah, but when you when you go to the event, then you need to make decision which bucket you need to do. That's I what just, they tell me. I just put it in there, yeah. and they apply it to both. Okay. PMI does. I will double check because last time. Depending I, on the nature of the event. Okay. Depending on nature of the event. So for me, before when I try to submit and they go to the PMP, they didn't go to PMI ACP, but they already applied to my PMP. I said, "Can you give me my PDU back?" They said, "No." <laughs> <laughs> So I have an overflow PDU and my PMP bucket. That's why hard experience, heartbroken. I hear like money clink, clink, clink. <laughs> yes, they're not giving my PDU back. Yes, I'm talking to you, PMI. Any more, any more questions? <laughs> any other questions? We have a lot of experts here. I'm not the only one here, so it would be great if you ask. If you don't. Oh, we have over here in the corner. Kalu, really? She has my phone on her speed dial, and she had to ask a question right now. My name is Clued. I'm, with, I'm an active volunteer with the PMI Dallas chapter and also a SEND organization, Pan-Asian organization, to find uh, organization, non-for-profit. But my question to you is, what is Agile? <laughs> <laughs> what no, does my, Agile to mean to me? Uh, no, actually, uh, my real question is, uh, how long did it take you from when you bought the materials, when you studied, oh. until when you took the test? How long Time for frame? you to pass a PNI ACP if we are working? How about that? Because we are not students. 
Um, I have agile experience because I have a marketing company in the past. That's why I'm talking about marketing. I do a lot of product promotional event. I bought my material 2016, I think September, 2016 September. I read one or two hours a day, maybe one hour sometimes lazy. I will say it takes me four months for small bio reading. I take my exam 2017 February and I pass. I will say it take about 100 hours for me to really finish that exam, finish the reading. Even, even I live in the agile world, I live in the agile bad world, but I have the basic knowledge. So if you company doing agile, probably take you 50 hours of reading because that will go faster. If you are English as your first language, probably 40 hours. For me, take me 100 hours <laughs> because there are some dictionary. I need, I need to use dictionary to confirm my understanding. So it takes me about 100 hours. Application is really easy if you have PMP. It's actually online and just submit it, then 100 hours, that was something I would say. If you are really good at English, you're doing agile thing, I would say 30 hours. Take your 21 hour class, you probably read for 20 hours, you are done. Any other questions? Yeah. Your name, where are you from? Your question. Uh, name is Reza Hussein, and I work with Mary Kay as a project manager. Mary Kay? Mary Kay Inc. Okay, right. we need your business card. No, I'm joking. Sure. You can talk to me after the meeting. So uh, I'm a PMP, and I'm a CSM, Certified Scrum Master. I wanted to understand what is it that I don't have by not becoming an ACP that I do have as CSM? What is the distinction here? I download a book from, I see CSM is uh, strong all right? Yeah. Hold on, let me check. CSM. So Scrum Alliance, right? Right. So they do, I didn't go to their workshop, but based on my understanding is for the CSN, they do more storing points, the Kanban and Bolt, right? They do more like that. But in Agile, they talk about XP, they talk about Agile methodology, they talk about Lean, Lean Six Sigma, they talk about team building motivation. That's what I think compared with ACP and compared with the Scrum Master. Scrum Master is more technical, more doing, more practical in your team for the Scrum. But for Agile, it's the methodology in my idea. It's a methodology in my idea you have to have the buy-in. So if you only do Scrum, doesn't mean you are running an Agile team. Because Scrum is a, it's a tool. It's a tool, it's a practice for any, any event. You can do that for, for any event, do the Scrum meeting. Stand up meeting, you can do that. But doesn't mean you are running an Agile team. It can be an Agile team. Do you have any? Feedback, anybody had any feedback? I will it say- is, It is agile program, project management. We, we follow the agile method, and we manage that project through Scrum. Yeah, for example- And I think it's, it's the two sides of the same coin, the way it's being used industry around. Agile is a book, have 10 chapter. Scrum is one of the chapter. Would that be easier? <laughs> Scrum is one of the chapter. Agile is a book with many chapter, with different stories. Scrum is one of the chapter, important chapter. That's why people are using it. That's my feedback. If you have any feedback, please. I see your face. You have something to say. <laughs> OK, he's shy. But that's my understanding is the knowledge base is bigger, or wider. And you, you do an awesome job for this chapter. It doesn't mean it's not the good chapter. It's good chapter, and people are using it. Yes, my name is uh, Marv Williams. I'm a um, certified Scrum Master. I'm also an Agile H ACP as well, and I'm also PMP, of course. Um, just to elaborate, you, know, you were asking a little bit on what's the difference. Um, I think one of the, the nice things about the ACP is many times I get on a project and they say, what methodology should we use or what approach should we use? And a lot of people think, well, the first thing, well, let's do Scrum. Well, it may not be applicable. You don't know if it's applicable or not. So you're just going to go to, you know, if you're good with a hammer, everything looks nail-like. So if you're good with Scrum, everything looks Scrum-like. 
And um, I work with a lot of architects, and Scrum is usually, not always, but usually it's not the good approach for architects to be utilizing Scrum. They should be utilizing something like Lean, because they're trying to reduce work, not, not just give the project there. So anyways, you're gonna, you know, should I use Lean? Should I use uh, Six Sigma? Should I use uh, XP? What should I be using? Should I use Scrum? You don't, you don't know which one to use. So anyways, that's just my take. Just give you more tools in ACP, give you more knowledge, idea about different things relate to Agile. That's what I would say. However, you still do an awesome job being a Scrum Master, the certificate I don't have. And applause to you. <laughs> I think that will end our session today. I really appreciate each one of your time. I hope you get some knowledge. I hope you get inspired for some methodology. Maybe using it, maybe take an exam. Those are all the possibility for you out there. I really appreciate you, and I love you guys with all my heart. Namaste. Thank you very much. Good night, everyone. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. We'll see you at third Tuesday of the odd month in July. Thank you.